Hi, happy Thursday. Thank you for being here. It is National Flag of Canada Day. So congratulations, Canadian friends. Your flag is pretty cool. Hope you're celebrating it. Spy is on track for a record close. High of the day, 502.20 already. It was pumping uh, pretty much into this last hour. We are in our last almost 45 minutes here of trading already, which is crazy. Let's go ahead and check out QQQ, also up. Same kind of a thing. It pumped. It's been really pretty flat the last hour. Today we have a lot of earnings, Coinbase, Roku, DKNG for sure. So we'll definitely take a look at those. D DXY did absolutely. Let's go back to the daily chart here so you can see it. We popped above that 104.50 area, got just under 105. We seem to have rejected it. Today it's down a little bit, still higher than we were on Monday. So I don't think it's really all that scary looking yet. Let me go ahead and pop off some of my settings here okay vix back down at 14 13 14 30 i'm sorry the x's are up we'll take a look at those in a little bit i want to go right to oil oil is up another 1.5 percent still sitting just under the 78 resistance area again we do have a death cross on oil from back on december 21st 22nd area it looks like it was forming a mini ihs here it just it it, it can't seem to get over that 78 really struggling with it. Decreasing volume as well. This is CL1, the oil futures, it's my preferred oil chart anyway. If it rejects, I'm watching for a back test of the tops of these previous candles here, probably down at 75, maybe just below. Gold and silver, we were watching fall earlier this week. Gold came right back to support here and bounced. It's hanging out just between 1780 and 2000, high of the day, 2008 silver. I hope everybody's having an awesome Thursday and that you had a good Valentine's Day yesterday. Kind of a giant IHS that we've been watching on silver. Loves to come back. It loves to pop up to 26, reject, and come back to 22. It's done that. I can't even tell you how many times here. We saw that again this week. Went right. The low yesterday actually was 21.93. So right there on silver. And then it did absolutely bounce. So was fun to see that. Let's go to see XHB, which has been up at pretty much new highs. It looks like it was going for it again. I don't think we're going to get it today. All in all, at least so far today, it's flat. We do have 40 minutes left in the trading day. So if it wants to make a move for us, I bet it'll do so then. XLB. Ah, oh, finally, finally, finally. Let's zoom in here. It was struggling with this daily 50 for almost a month. It was kind of wild to watch it. We are above... Um, I want to say it's out of resistance, but not really. It seems like it it hangs out around this 85 area and then continues on up. If it can get up to 85.90, I have an alert set. It loves to, um, the opposite of silver, basically. So it's at the top of its little consolidation range here. If you want to call that a consolidation range. Anyway, if it wants to get up there um, and looks weak, I'll probably buy puts because it loves to reject that area. Be a nice scalp, I think. XLE up a little bit. All in all, still pretty flat. It was trending on Twitter, actually. Everybody was freaking out that it was moving. Doesn't look like it's really moving all that much, so I don't believe them. XLF near highs, really, really nice move. This thing has been grinding higher since the lows in October. Almost every single day it was hitting new highs. And today is no exception. It's up 1.8%, gapped up and near the high at the moment. I don't even think it's done yet today. XLY, same kind of a thing. Cup, handle. Uh, near resistance, not quite there at 180, 181, 182. We'll call that resistance on there. TLT, I haven't looked at TLT in a while. Then we'll get into some earnings. Earnings today are going to be a blast, I think. IHS on TLT, we did finally, finally get a golden cross on the daily chart here. It's above the 50. Ooh, so today, no, it's not, it's below the 50. My bad. My line is confusing me. Came right back down to support here at 93. Seems to be holding it just fine. Higher than we were yesterday. Decreasing volume. I'm watching that IHS. Honestly, if it bounces from here, I'll probably buy this one just to see if it wants to go ahead and test those previous highs. Let's see what kind of a move that would be. Mm, five, 6%. I usually like to see over 15, so maybe I'll just keep an eye on it. But in theory, that is a setup that I like for my trading personally. I will keep an eye on it though. Not, not going to be a big enough mover, I don't think for my, my swing trading, my impatient swing trading. If you're investing, more power to you. Oh man, Rivian. Rivian came right back down to support, hung out there for the better part of a month, finally getting some movement. I'd like to see it above 16.5. It's just kind of chopping around in there. It doesn't look bad, it's just chopping. Affirm, came down on earnings. Their earnings were green. They were very green actually. It was a, a bit of a surprise. They are below the 50. They're on a support area. 
Honestly, zooming out, it just looks like a big cup and handle forming. It's just taking its sweet time about it. I am in this one. I also have Car, just taking a look at my names while we are getting started in our stream. Car, I am watching this previous consolidation area back at about 116. It definitely got whacked on earnings. I bought in a little early. I added today to try to make that a more even position. If it doesn't bounce from here, honestly, I'd be watching for all the way down here at the tops of these wicks at about 100. I don't think I'll hold that far down if it wants, if it doesn't look like it wants to move for me. Oh, hey, Anas. Happy Thursday. I hope you're having an awesome day. Watching anything in particular? CHPT, I bought this morning. IHS forming, I love to see it break out. Let me go ahead and put a line on here. I'm not sure what happened to my line. It, broke, it was in a little bit of a downtrend. It looked like it was popping above it and just back testing. So I went ahead and bought in. It is a very garbagey name. This thing loves to go down. I'm in it for a very risky swing, but I couldn't say no to it after we were looking at it yesterday on stream. Couldn't say no. I am watching for this move here. I want it to bounce right off of this daily. It is above the daily 50. I want it to bounce off of that area, pop up to the tops of these wicks. That would be a 25, 30% move or so on commons. My jam. Love to see that. The coins were moving. Elizabeth Warren today flew a ceremonial flag for for Saboshi Nakamoto, whoever invented Bitcoin. Anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. It's the 15th anniversary of Bitcoin, I, I guess. We are up again on Bitcoin. It's so nice to see this thing above 50. It, took, it, felt, like, it felt like we were never going to get there. Two months of being basically flat with very little movement. Nice to see it finally pop up. We did get a golden cross on the weekly on Bitcoin. Ethereum, Ethereum is up. Woohoo! High of the day, 28, 69 and a half. Beautiful move. Let's see. What's my thoughts on D-Dog? See what's going on with D-Dog. They had, they had earnings on what, Tuesday? Yes, Tuesday they were green. Giant IHS. It's just chopping here right, right, right at resistance, really. Wicking above it. It looks like it's really struggling with 134, to be honest with you. As long as it's above this 50, I think it's fine. If it wants to fall... It would come back down to support, which would be that daily 50. Actually, that would align pretty beautifully at about 124. Mm, long term, I think it looks excellent. Short term, hard hard to know. Unless it wants to clear this 135 area, maybe consolidate a little bit and then head up to 150. Um, otherwise, as we're red today, and it's right on support as we speak, it's a hard one to call. I'd be If it does fall, I'd be watching that 125 area, honestly. If it wants to get down there, I might pick it up. Let me go ahead and set an alert, actually. Um, since we're doing D names, DK and G, they have their earnings today after the close. They are at a new 52 week high, 44.86, near the tops of these previous uh, mini bounce candles, actually, before it started that descent all the way down. It's a resistance area at 45.14, 44.86 high of the day so far. This thing gapped up and pumped for almost the last month and a half in a row. This is going to be a tough one on earnings, honestly. Um, their last earnings for the past few years have been green. Really nice volume this past quarter. I don't love names that pump into their earnings personally. If I had to guess, I would guess DKNG is going to be down just because it's it's up so much. But like we saw on, what was it, Net or NVIDIA? One of those ones that had earnings that was up like 8% and then it gapped up anyway. Earnings are hard to call, but tinfoil hat on DKNG, I, I would expect this guy to be down. I think the earnings will be green and I think that they will go down. You bought it at 80? Nice. Holy nice trade. <laughs> excellent, excellent work. Looked at DKG. Let's get into some gambling names. MGM. Woo, we did bounce on that support. Yesterday was a little sketch. Green earnings fell, continued to fall. Really beautifully green earnings. We did see this whack last summer after they were hacked. Nice recovery on that. Look, it just, honest. ooh, now we have an IHS actually. Forming an IHS kind of here. It looks good. Is anything above 40, 40, we'll call, call it 40 even. Wherever this daily 200 is, 42 is probably a safer number. I think MGM looks good. If it wants to fall, though, could 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 go quite a ways. When we have not yet gotten that golden cross on the daily, I'm surprised. I really thought we would have that by now. It doesn't look bad at all, but we did get a beautiful gap up on their earnings, which were also beautifully green. So the opposite move of MGM. Don't ask me why. I have no idea why that happens. Cisco is another one that had green earnings and just fell, fell like a rock yesterday. Wild, wild afternoon for earnings. Not as not quite as crazy as the lift move that we saw the other day, but 
it was still pretty weird. When I'd be watching that gap at 101, honestly, it, it, it looks like it's trying for 110, not really pushing on it, just sitting kind of flat. Meta also had news today. They um, offered a way for developers to avoid apps, Apple App Store fees, and they were at new highs again, finally breaking out of their gap up and go flat range. I wonder if Wynn is going to make this kind of a move where it just sits for a week, kind of digests that gap up, and then continues on up. 488.62, all-time high on Meta. Good work. Zuck. Amazon, Amazon gap up, hasn't quite made that new high yet. Still sitting pretty flat. It doesn't look bad at all. It is hard to fight with Amazon. This chart is beautiful. Giant IHS all the way up at resistance, holding that move wonderfully. Green earnings. People still love shopping on Amazon. Microsoft, let's see. How's Billiam doing? Uh, we did not get a, a gap up on Microsoft on their earnings, but they were green. They made a pretty nice move, though, back above 415. Looks like they gapped down. They're sitting super, super flat, holding it just fine. I don't think that that's bearish at all. It's just kind of it's kind of boring right now on, on Microsoft. Might not be a bad entry, though. AMD, oh, another name that, had, that went up on their earnings. Their earnings were red. Really nice volume, though, and is sitting just so flat under these resistance areas. It's kind of wild to see this while the market is up so high. We are two minutes off of the close of this half hour candle. So I want to go ahead and see what SPY is doing. Good. I was worried that it was going to start com coming back down to that 500 area. It looks like it's holding pretty flat. Not too bad. Who else has earnings today? Roku. Roku does. I love trading Roku. This is going to be a tough one for me to see this chart and not want to gamble on it. Woo. Yep. Broke out of this downtrend and we've been channeling up since the end of October of 2022. Sitting right under that $98, $100 resistance area, same kind of a thing. If it wants to drop, it's got a pretty strong support, which would actually align with a backtest of this channel that it's been popping up and down around. So 80, we'll call it 80 below. Above the tops of these candles, 108, 110. Woo, $10 up or down is what I'm guessing. I don't think it'll be flat. I think it'll gap around. It loves, as you can see on their earnings, to make wild swing moves on Roku. Uh, and those are the most fun ones to trade into earnings, I think. I'm going to try really hard not to gamble. I can't just, I can't tell on this chart looking at it whether or not I think it's going to go up or down, so I better just stay out of it. Good luck to anybody trading it, though. I hope it goes up. MU, still below the daily 50. Kind of, uh, I'd like to see this form a full cup and handle. I'm not sure if it lets you see my alert. I have an alert set here just under 80. What I am looking for on MU is this kind of a move. That beautiful cup and handle, I'd like to see it come down a little bit further, maybe go sideways for a while. If it can do that, I'll almost certainly buy this one. Um, when it does like to move, as you can see, it, it really moves. It doesn't really grind anywhere. It just makes a directional decision, which is those are the best for swing trading, I think. You need, the, you need that volatility. Twilio is down. Twilio is a really great company. They are down. They are below their daily 50. You're planning to go all in on Twilio? Woo. Um, let me zoom out. Let me get a better idea on this one. It doesn't look bad. We are below that weekly 50. That's what I wanted to see here. Man, we lost that weekly 50. It pretty much, it, it lost support as we speak. Let's see. Yeah. It really, really needs to reclaim like 62. Otherwise, it might make a move like Car did. I bought Car after their earnings. See how it just drops on earnings, then it continues to drop, and then you get that one green candle. Today would have been a much better entry. I was impatient. Twilio. I'm wondering if it's going to do that same thing, because it looks like there's a stronger support down here, closer to 53. So if it doesn't bounce, like, right now, right off of the 60 area, I'd be watching all the way down, like, 55, 53, to be honest, which would be a back test of this uptrend as well, right around in that area. The earnings were green. This one was a kind of a weird one. I believe they announced layoffs yesterday, which was which is usually a bullish thing. Carvana above that weekly risk down finally, yeah. But for Twilio, I'd be watching that. It really needs to bounce like now or down there. CVNA. See if the squeeze boys are happy. They're happy. Man, all the way back at that 58 resistance area. So many names today are either on support, like losing it, or pumping right through it, like within this five minute candle, five, 10 minutes. It's been kind of wild to see it. We did go pretty flat for the last hour. So I'm happy we're getting some movement on some things though. Hey Jeff, happy Thursday, sir. Going to be a big 
Big earnings day today. Trade Desk, Roku, Coinbase, DraftKings, DoorDash, Toast. We should pull Toast up. We are talking about Toast earlier. Toast is another one that announced layoffs. They are laying off 550 workers. Yes, just pulled it up. Um, I've been watching for, for it to get above this resistance, go flat, and then continue on up. If it wanted to make that move, I was going to buy in. I like that it's read into earnings. I do like that they announced layoffs. It's usually a, a longer term bullish thing. I don't think I'm going to touch this guy into their earnings. But if it wants to drop back down to this 16 area, 17, 16, if it can get down there and then go flat, I'll almost certainly pick this one up. I really, really like this chart. It had a nice I, mini IHS form. It was getting close to a golden cross. Let's go out on the weekly. My bottom fish is on it. He likes it. Um, decent volume. The last few earnings were green. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a good one. Going to be a fun one for sure. Who else? Coinbase. We were talking about Coinbase. I didn't even pull them up. Elizabeth Warren flew a ceremonial. American flag for the creator of Bitcoin today. Fun fact. Um, ooh, nice W after backtesting that support. Whew. Look at that move. Gorgeous move. Congrats to anybody who bought it at the end of October. Mm, nice W. It's it's a gappy move. Gap, 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 gap. Nice volume, green earnings. All in all, it looks pretty similar to Amazon. I almost hate to choke that out, but it, it does. Kind of a cup and handle movement here. I, again, I don't love names that pump into their earnings, so not something I'm going to be touching. If it if it if it does come back down to this 114 area, I think that would be a really healthy move on it. To be honest, not that it's going to. It could very well gap up 100 million percent. Who knows? Earnings are tough, but if it wants to come back, back test the support here at 115, that would fill all of these gaps. It's another one that I'll probably pick up. I like that name long term. It's my favorite way to trade crypto. I turned this morning holding through earnings. Nice. Congrats on your trim and congrats on that trade. I know that you had it, you had it pretty low, which is awesome. Coinbase, who else today? Anybody trade uh, Crocs or John Deere or anything yesterday? Yeti? Yeti's always a fun one. I, I want to take a look at Yeti actually. AMAT, that was another big one. Let's go ahead and pull up AMAT. Beautiful. Not really a, a big earnings spike. I totally expected this guy to come back down to 175, but hey, that's new all-time highs on AMAT, just under 190, 189.47. Nice move. Dash, DoorDash, Uber, and Lyft were on strike yesterday um, with Uber and Lyft drivers refusing to do airport drop-offs or pickups between, I think it was 11 and 1. I'm not sure how that went. I didn't see any news about it, but uh, drivers were protesting for more fair pay, which is always... So do I think toast is a buy? I, I'm I'm going to sit out on toast. I don't know quite yet. I do think that that's a bullish um, that was bullish news for them to have that layoff. If it can come down to to 17, the 16, 17 area, and hold that without falling back down to these lows, I I would I'm probably going to buy it. Then I'm going to pick up commons. I'm hoping to pick up commons. So I would like to see it fall on earnings. So I don't know. It could very well go either way. This guy really likes to gap on earnings up or down. Usually a fun one. It's a, a big Wall Street bets name too, which means people do a little bit too much options trading on it, which makes for big, big fun moves. I think. Mm -hmm. Crocs, C R O X. We're in our last half hour. Woo! Nice move on plastic shoes. We are up 12%, almost 13%, right to this previous consolidation area at about 122. Pumping as we speak on Crocs. Congrats, Crocs Bulls. That's a pretty beautiful move. How'd John Deere do? DE, Deere and Company? Down, really? This John Deere is forming a really nice range here. If it, oh man, it's an expensive stock too. Pretty much between 350 and 450. It likes to come down to 350, bounce up to 450, come down to 350, bounce up to 450, and it's near, near that 350 area now. Honestly, might not be a bad place to enter if it wants to get down a little bit further and then looks reversey. Mm -hmm. is a word, right? We're going to go with it. TTD, the trade desk. Bounced off of support, double bottom. Hmm. Anybody use the trade desk? I don't think I've ever used any of their products. Death cross above the 50. That's a tough one. This is a tough one into those earnings for sure. Up at resistance into earnings. Man, so many names have been doing that the last couple of weeks. Pretty wild to see it. Just doing a quick scan on the news, seeing if any other info's coming out as we get close to the end of the day. Apple. Apple. 
always in the news. Apple um, fighting with Mark, Mark Zuckerberg, as we were saying, there was a, an official in the EU who compared them to the mafia. So that's why I have my gangsters on Apple here. Slightly red, anything above 180 on Apple looks excellent. Um, they also were in the news today because they're seeing a record number of returns on the Vision Pro. People aren't loving that headset, I guess, or they're regretting the $3,000 purchase. Anybody have one? I think that would be fun for video gaming, but I'm not sure about any other real use for them. Hmm. Ford, Ford also in the news. Man, were the EVs on Ford for sure. Ford today said, their CEO said the build cost of the F-150 Lightning EV is too expensive. And their CEO said that they have to sell EVs just three to $5,000 above gas car price. They also noted that China competition puts 20 to 30% of revenue at risk. That's pretty scary news actually, but the chart looks excellent. We did see a fall on a lot of the auto names due to that um, United Auto Workers strike that was taking place last fall. Nice increased volume. Their earnings were green, really beautifully green on Ford. In kind of a mini uptrend here, and it's above that daily 200. There is a gap down at $12.10. I'm going to put an alert there on that name. I don't think that Ford is really going to be going to zero anytime soon. So it's another one that I'm, I'm keeping an eye on. I don't think I'm going to pick it up. But if I were to pick it up, I would do so around that $12 area once it fills that gap. Looking for a retest of what, 13.5, 8, 9%? Not really enough for me. I like to see anything above 15. There is another gap above, though. It would be a 20 plus percent trade if you're an investor. I'm not. I'm a swing trader. Um, Coin earnings, I know. It's going to be so fun. I can't wait, personally. I really want this thing to gap way up. If it comes down to that 115, like I said, I'll probably buy comments on it. So I should want it down, but it's just more fun when names pop up on earnings. So much more fun to be bullish. Anyone shifting into palladium, silver, gold, any PM? Um, I am not, but I've been keeping an eye on silver and gold. So I had them up earlier. Silver went right back down to that 22 area. It was like 22, 21.93, I think was the low yesterday. Where's my silver chart? And bounced right off the bottom of that range again. I don't think it looks bad here at all, to be honest. Yesterday would have been an excellent, excellent entry on silver. It loves to bounce between 22 and 26. It's a pretty nice, easy swing, I think. Pretty safe one if you have a tight stop loss. We do have a golden cross on gold here. Kind of the world's wonkiest cup and handle forming, but the same kind of a move. Definitely in a range here between 2000 and 2070, 1975 really, we should say. But it doesn't look bad. J-M-I-A, nice move. I don't think I've ever heard of that. J-I-M-A. What? J-M-I-A. My bad. Technology company. Ooh, look at that volume. 40% up today. Jeez, out of its downtrend. Is this a SPAC? What is this company? Definitely above that downtrend. I just wanted to zoom out to the weekly here. Get a better better look at whatever this is. Yikes. Wow, watching the top of those wicks, though. Pretty close to a resistance. It needs to clear 510, I think, unless you're already in it, which I hope you're in it. I hope you bought it yesterday and then it popped up 40% for you. EG. Everest Group. Ooh, EG looks good. Really close to a death cross on the daily, but it's pretty range-bound. I don't love MAs on range-bound stocks, but I did want to note that death cross because I saw it. Earnings were green. Just getting a better look at this. Gap above here, of course. I love gaps. I'm a swing trader who really loves when names drop down on earnings and especially when there are gaps on the chart. Huge fan. Nice um, recovery from those earnings. I'd be watching that 380 area if it wants to keep pumping. It looks like it tests that area. It either goes flat or rejects it. I would like to see what it does at 380. If it can pop above it and consolidate, kind of reversing this move then I think it looks a lot better, but it doesn't look bad. It's a pretty interesting chart. Isn't that the Amazon of South Africa? Oh, I wasn't sure what they did. Interesting. What it, um, the Amazon of Brazil is Meli, M-E-L-I. And you were talking about the Amazon of other places. It made me think of it. I haven't looked at this chart in forever. Holy moly, is that thing up? It looks like DKG, cup, handle, went up to resistance, went flat, popped up to the next one, went flat. DKNG, cup, handle, resistance, flat, resistance, flat. I wanted to see where we were on DKNG. We do have DKNG's, DKNG's earnings right after the close today. High of the day, 44.86. Come on, DKNG, go. 
Love it, love it, love it. Who else? Yeti. I was talking about Yeti. Yeti. I love trading Yeti. Ooh. Down 15% today, right back to support. That, I want to buy this one. I want to buy comments on this one. Let me see here. So if it can hold above 40, watching for a back test. Uh, first resistance is about 9% up. So anything above 15, I love that. I would be watching for 48. Yep, I'm going to put an alert here on Yeti so I don't forget to do that closer to the close. I think I'm going to buy comments on that guy. I really, really like this company a lot. Um, their earnings were red, but only slightly red. Finally out of the downtrend, kind of channeling up, back on support. Love it. Big fan. I bet it's the daily or the weekly 50. Nope, we lost the weekly 50. That's all right. As long as it can hold that area, I don't think it looks bad. It likes to chop. It likes to bounce. Love it. Anybody else trade Yeti? EPAM. EPAM. Head earnings this morning. Up at resistance. Not a whole ton of movement on that guy. Who else today? Um, open door. O-P-E-N. Open door um, in the pre-market and the post-market screeners. I feel like it's on there every single day for moving wildly after the market is closed or right before we open. Is this guy SPAC? It looks like it. Woof. Cup handle. Pretty flat. What do they do? Real estate development. Not sure what that even means. Logistics service. Ah. Interesting. Got some more news coming out. Woof, we're almost in our final 15 minutes. JP Morgan hit 52 week highs today. The banks have been so wild the last couple of weeks. Holy moly, it didn't just hit new highs. It blasted through its resistance to new highs. 180. We are up almost 3%. Man, these banks are going wild. I wonder if that's a good sign for toast. How's us? Uh, same kind of a thing. Wild move up. Gappy. Not at new highs yet. Struggling with 30, but it looks good. Uh, v. Visa. Visa's up as well. Man. They're only up one or two percent, but it's but after having made those wild climbs through the end of last fall and the end of last year, really, the continuation on these guys is just crazy. Interesting. Anybody watching banks or trading banks? Playing with banks? Snow down? Eh, barely. Snow still sitting at that 230 resistance area. Hmm. When are their earnings? Next week? February 28th. Okay. Can keep an eye on those as we get closer to their earnings. Oatly, they had their earnings this morning. OTLY. <laughs> holy, holy, holy moly. Downtrend stock. It it's above it. It's close to a golden cross on the daily. This thing really likes to go down. I mean, hello, we were at $28 and now we're at $1. But for a risky swing, actually, it doesn't look terrible. If it can hold above $1.10. Ugh, hate to compliment that crappy name, but it doesn't look bad. Target, Golden Cross on the daily. We are still above that that resistance area. That's pretty fun. Target, um, looking for other news. Cleveland Cliffs, North America's largest steel producer to lay off 900. We were talking about some metals. Cleveland Cliffs. Misspelling Cleveland. What a, what a noob move. And I'm from there. Hmm. Cleveland Cliffs, CLF. Cleveland Cliffs, still in its range. It's above the 50. Layoffs are, are traditionally bullish news. That doesn't look bad. I would like to see this guy above 21. It's another one that's overall pretty range bound, above the 50, kind of grinding its way up to the top of its range here. Their earnings were red. I'd like to see it above 21. I'd like to see it pop above 21, sit there, and then try to reverse this pretty wild um, swing up and then swing right back down that it did a couple of years ago. That was a fun time to be trading CLF. That was when Wall Street Bets was all over it. Oh, memories. Mm -hmm. Spy. Let's do our last 10 minutes. Anybody trading anything today? Commons, coins, Forex, earnings, ETFs. Anybody buying anything fun? Holding anything? Watching anything? Let me know. Mm, Wendy's. Wendy's had their earnings this morning. The burger clown was last week, McDonald's. Uh, they're down slightly, only 1%. Wendy's, boring. Boring flat, how's McDonald's? It's holding that IHS. It came right back down to that daily 200, also support, forming that IHS bounced pretty beautifully. 
Now it seems like it's struggling with the daily 50, just under 300. We're at 291. It doesn't look bad at all long term. I think it looks super, super bullish, to be honest with you. Really nice volume. We're actually increasing on our volume, albeit slowly. Earnings were pretty much in line, but they were green. Doesn't look bad. Taking a look at some of the names that had some earnings earlier this week. Oh, Air Canada, ACDVF. They have their earnings tomorrow before open. Mm -hmm. It's one of the last airlines I think that hasn't reported this quarter. It doesn't look bad. Oh boy, do I want to do I want to gamble on this guy? I want to, but I, I really shouldn't. Really, really nasty looking red volume. Their last earnings were green for almost the past year. Hmm. I'm just gonna I'm gonna pull up my broker and see if uh see if I should buy this guy. I'm thinking about it. All right. So if I bought here, sorry, getting distracted, thinking about making a buy. Um I'd be watching that daily 200. About 6% up, that wouldn't be bad. The next resistance would be the top of these candles here at about 20%. It's about 15. I love anything above 15. Tough one. Tough, really tough one. They still have my kid's car seat. <laughs> ah, love it. Airbnb was this week. Car seats and stuff. Oh, Airbnb popped above that resistance finally. Nice move on Airbnb. Really beautiful. It came right back down to that daily 50, wicked almost exactly off of it. Nice reversal today. Beautiful, giant, hollow green candle near the top of the day. 11 minutes left in the trading day, and it's still going. Fun, fun, fun. We looked at, oh, we didn't look at Tesla yet. What am I thinking? Oh, Tesla. Elon yesterday moved um, Neuralink's headquarters to, I'm sorry, last week moved Neuralink's headquarters to Nevada. Yesterday moved SpaceX, SpaceX's headquarters to Texas. He was threatening to move Tesla's headquarters to Texas as well. He's really mad at the state of Delaware. A judge in Delaware blocked his $56 billion pay package. $56 billion, he thinks he should be paid every year. Um, the vote, his board did vote for it, but a judge blocked it, so he's all kinds of mad at Delaware. Tesla, though, finally getting a little bit of movement here of 5%. Man. I knew I was going to regret not buying this guy earlier this week. I was watching that 180 number. I was a little worried about some of the data coming out this morning. I was hoping it would get closer to that 180 area and give me an entry. I missed it. Congratulations to people who have this guy. Honestly, I'm watching for it to come back and test that macro downtrend. So even from here, 20%. Do I want to chase? I want to chase, but I'm not going to. I would be watching for it to come back and test this macro downtrend that it's been in since the beginning of 2022. It really loves to pop up, test it, and reject it. Regardless, commons right now, that's a 20% trade. Whew. Go Tesla, go. I hope to see some people get that and make some serious money on Elon and his traditional Twitter X nonsense. Microsoft's Xbox, Xbox Game Pass now has 34 million subscribers. That's up 36% from the 25 million Microsoft previously reported more than two years ago. Wow, that is a jump. Uh, we had Microsoft stock up. It wasn't doing a whole ton of moving today, but that is some pretty interesting news. I want to take another look at SPY. We are in our last 10 minutes. I want to see how this first first of the last two five-minute candles is opening. Overall, pretty flat. QQQ, same kind of a thing. Today, again, we have DraftKings, Coinbase, Roku, Trade Desk, AMAT, DoorDash, AEM, Open Door, and Toast. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning, the one that I'm really watching is Air Canada still. I'm going to go ahead and flip back to that chart. So that I can decide whether or not I want to buy it. Actually, better not. Anybody have any anything else I could distract myself with? Thank you very much. <laughs> curl and slow. Curl, curl, C U R L. Curl leaf. Is it curl leaf that you're looking for? C U R C U R L F. I'm not seeing C U R L. So if this is the wrong chart, I apologize. But for curl leaf. It currently looks good. Sitting up at resistance area. How's MSOS? Same kind of a move. Snoop Dogg's happy with the pot stock move. Um, right back above that resistance on MSOS. I just wanted to get an idea of what the ETF was doing before I gave you too much on the individual name. Golden Cross on the daily. Really giant red volume. I'm not sure why that is. The stock doesn't seem to care, though. It came right back down to that daily 50, tested it, and bounced off of it just fine. Anything above 520 on Curaleaf looks good. Slow. 
I'm not finding either of your names. I'm so sorry. I hope it was Cure Leaf that you wanted. If those are incorrect, please let me know. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing slow. Really? Oh, come on, Trading View. Not letting me have any fun. Spy, getting close to the end of the day here. High of the day, 502.20, DK and G. So I want to see how these uh, earnings guys are doing into the close. DK and G, oh, I was hoping it would close right at the high of the day. Let's take a look at the five minute candle. Mm, it doesn't look bad at all. It's just going to be a really fun one on earnings. It was trending on um, Twitter slash X earlier. Big Wall Street bets name. All in all, long term, this thing looks awesome. I, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that it's down at like an entry. I, I would love it if it wants to come back and test that daily 50, which is also the support area, right around 40. Let me in, please. Please, please let me in. Roku. If it goes up, though, congrats to the bulls. I hope it goes up. I want it to go down for an entry, but again, it's more fun when, when stocks go up. Roku is still sitting underneath that, that resistance. Man, coin. It's going to be, it is going to be a fun afternoon. My goodness. Top handle still. I wanted to see these names really making a big giant move into the end of the day, but it doesn't look like they want to. Just looking for any more news coming out. Hmm. Not really seeing anything yet. Tomorrow for data, we have, we are closed on Monday, next Monday. Tomorrow we have PPI. That's the big one. Fed chair, bar is speaking. When bar speaks, we are usually red. So tinfoil hat. And Mary Daly is speaking in the afternoon. Housing in the morning, PPI. Whew. After CPI on Wednesday, it's going to be really, really good to get get through the data point on these weeks Ugh. and get back to some more earnings. Anyway, Interdigital IDCC. They had their earnings this morning. Wow, are they up 11%. I don't think I've ever looked at this chart. Congrats to the bulls on that one. Not a whole lot of TA you can do when you're in blue skies. Mm -hmm. Just scanning through while we wait another two minutes to get into that last five minute candle. AMAT earnings today. They are above that resistance area. High of the day, 189.47. That is all time highs on, yep, it looks like at all time highs today into their earnings. Gap below 175, as we looked at earlier. Shopify had earnings earlier this week. Their income statement I thought was pretty interesting. Net profit, 657 million. Anybody use Shopify? I would have expected their merchant solutions to be a little bit larger than that, to be honest. Just skipping through data, waiting for that for that last five minute candle. All right, back to the charts. Make sure I have my charts pulled up. Yep. Uh, come on, Spy. Close above 502. Let's do it. Pop it up, get it in there. SMCI, if anybody has not been tracking SMCI, Lordy, this thing is on the moon. Gapped up again today. Feels like every single day we look at it, it's gapping up. Giant hollow green candle. Ridiculous volume bar. How far are you up even are we on this thing? Pretty much off of that daily 50. Not even a month. We're up 220, 230%. That's crazy. Absolutely wild move. Fear and greed, we are back at 76. In extreme greed, we were down at 72 yesterday, 69 the day before. If you track this, I just use it for reference. I think it's interesting to see um, what the overall views on it are. People talk about it on Twitter a lot, so I've been keeping an eye on it. Mm, not really any other news. How's Bitcoin doing into the, into the end of our trading day? Bitcoin, of course, will not close when the market does, but just wanted to see what it was looking like. We're back to red. Interesting. Ethereum still green, down a little bit from the highs earlier a few hours ago. All in all, it doesn't look bad. DK and G, the fun one. Anybody trading this guy or anything? Just let me know. Cinemark, CNK, earnings tomorrow for the open. Wow, are they up into those earnings? 5% up already. I don't love names that pump into earnings. It's up at resistance. Pretty nice move. That doesn't mean it's necessarily bearish. It's just not one that I'm personally going to touch. But yeah, yikes. Anything above 16.5 on that thing looks great. TKNG, Roku, 
I'm just doing another quick scan as we are in our last five minutes here into their earnings. Roku sitting green, coin also sitting green. Hmm. Any guesses? Is Coinbase going to be up or down? Anybody have any ideas? Uh, looking for, let me look at and see if there's any more, more uh, news coming out. What do you have for us, Walter Bloomberg? Everybody's talking about the toast layoffs. They are cutting 550 workers, if you did not have that news already. Mm. FTC wants to penalize companies for use for use of AI in impersonation. Interesting. So I wonder if that's like the deep fake thing. People are probably going to be deep faking commercials. Tara, speaking of people who run commercials and things, um, Warren Buffett yesterday, Berkshire Hathaway, they dumped a ton of Paris stock. He used to have a lot of it. Now he has almost none of it. If he didn't sell all of it, I'm not, I don't remember offhand, but he got rid of quite a bit of it. This thing has been channeling down always buy out rumors on this guy. Their earnings were green, really beautifully green back in November. They have them coming up at the end of the month for this for their Q4 numbers on Wednesday, February 28th. Near the bottom of its channel, man, if it doesn't bounce soon above 10, I'd be watching for it to retest those lows down all the way down at, uh, I'm sorry, not at 10, at 11, at about 10 and a half. Hmm. Spy. We pumping into the close. One minute and thirty seconds left. Oh. One thirty. Any guesses on earnings? Anybody playing earnings? Anybody watching earnings? Anybody doing anything fun on Thursday? Are we excited for Friday tomorrow. I'm excited for Friday. Fridays are always really fun to trade, especially when we have big data like PPI coming out tomorrow, which we do. Um, just trying to keep an eye on things as we close. Get into it, DKNG. Slightly red on the five minute candle. It's still green on the day, right under that, under the resistance area above at 45.14, high of the day 44.95. We didn't quite hit that 45 yet, 44 seconds if it wants to pump and do it. Roku, Still sitting pretty flat under 95. It was, I was hoping it would get hit 95 into these earnings. We have 30 seconds until the close. Coinbase, green, didn't fill the gap from today. Closing right in the middle of its range. It looks like right around 165 it's going to close. After all of those movements on so many of the coins today, and um, the other miners like Riot and Hut were all making pretty big moves. It should be interesting to see where we end up going on this one. Duolingo's red, really? Mm, flat, not really. Spy, four seconds until the close. We're going to close at the high. Looks like it. Mm, 501.95 was our close on Spy. QQQ, 434.53. That's not bad. I want to go ahead and see if we have any data coming out. If any of these big names want to go ahead and give us some info or make start making some wild moves, I'll turn on the after hours. Nothing on Roku, DK, oops, DK and G. No real movement yet on DK and G and Coinbase. I want to give it, we should give it a minute or two really before we start seeing some wild swings. I'm hoping that we do. I need data. I'm going to check Twitter and see if any of the numbers are out. Roku. Nothing yet on Roku. DK and G. Come on. Give us the numbers. We'll see. If they, if they don't come out in another minute or so, then I'll hop off. But I would like to see some movement. DK and G. I'm sorry. Coin looks like it wants to be up. Up almost 1%. DK and G. Not really moving yet. Roku. Roku's up, up almost 1%. I wonder if their data is out. Let me look. Roku, not seeing it yet. Mm. Ooh, no, and we're red. Down 5%. Ah, what a, what a reversal. I had Twitter up. I completely missed it when it was falling. Coin. Coin looks like it wants to be up one and a half percent at least right now, and DKNG sitting flat. 
Roku. Ah, congrats, Bears, on Roku. Yikes, down 7% here. Let's go ahead and see where it looks like we might. So the bottoms of these wicks here are right at about 86, 86 and a half. I wonder if that's where we're going to see some buyers come in if they want to or if this thing is just going to fall off a cliff, which it just did. My bad. We're all the way down at 83. This is moving so quick that my trading view is not updating quickly enough. Did I buy anything? I did. I went shopping this morning and I bought, where did I buy? I bought CHPT and added to car. Hopped into CHPT after we were looking at it on stream yesterday. I couldn't, I couldn't say no to it. It's such a crappy looking name, but I just couldn't, I couldn't let it go. Mm. Pulling up any data here. Roku is still falling. Coin. Did you buy anything? Anybody do any shopping today? I, I really wanted to gamble on Air Canada's earnings. Um, they have their earnings coming out tomorrow before the open. I did not buy them. Almost did. Almost did. Watch me regret that in the morning. Mm, Coinbase up one and a half percent. Roku, are we still falling on Roku? Yes, we are. Down 14%. Ah! Well, congrats to the bears. I hope everyone had puts. Oh, lordy. All right. Well, we're near that a back test of this previous uptrend channel, I'd be, which aligns pretty beautifully with that daily 200. I guess I would be watching... We mark the 200, that way I can see it on the five minute chart since we are all the way down there. That would be the 7792 area. It does look like we wicked off of it so far. We are in the first five minute candle and hello, it's down 15%. So could very well continue to fall, but I'm keeping an eye on that number. Coinbase not really making any movement yet, up about 1% and DKNG, whoops. We're we moving yet, DKNG. Up 1%, I don't think their data is out yet. You sure to chart? CHPT, let me pull it up. David is in DKNG, I see. Ooh. Yes, yeah, beautiful. I would love to see it come back and re, uh, retest. Retest that uptrend. Roku. All right, Roku looks like it, it, it for the moment, wants to stick above that daily 200. This is the five minute chart, but the daily 200 is right at about 77.92, down 15%. It was getting close to the bottom. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't gonna have to correct myself. It does look like it's gonna hold above there. Alrighty, anything on DKNG yet? DKNG, the support of the resistance above is at 45.14. It does look like it wants to be up one and a half percent so far, just under one and a half percent. This is the five minute chart. Again, I know it can be a little tricky to see, but I wanted to see how these things were going to be moving. Um, Coinbase. Not really making any movement yet on Coinbase. I'm going to go ahead and leave Roku up and see if their data is out. It's got to be out. They're down 15%. Mm. Everybody's talking about Roku, but nobody's posting the numbers. Come on, give me the number of somebody, please. Have fun. Apple readies AI tool to rival Microsoft's GitHub Copilot. Hmm. Interesting, but not the data I was looking for. Uh, DKNG. Come on, DKNG, pump it. Coin, still nothing. Man, that Roku drop. Let's go ahead into the after hours screener and see if anybody else is moving. TTG, holy moly. Wow. Reverse move up 20% on this thing. What? What? 21% and it's still going. All right, we'll see if TTD's out. EPS of 41 cents, missing expectations of 43 cents, revenue of 606 million, beating expectations of 582.2 million. So they beat on their revenue, missed on their EPS, and they're up 20 plus percent. Holy trade desk. Yeah, right? Crazy. Roku, 15%. I still want to see Roku's numbers. Come on. People posting charts, nobody's posting the numbers. Coinbase and DKNG, let's see. No Coinbase numbers, DKNG. Uh, 
Still not seeing anything. Is DKNG still up? Mm, pretty flat. Coinbase, I'm imagining is flat. Their numbers aren't out yet. TTD, are we still pumping? We are 22.5%. Roku, are we falling? We are indeed still down about 15%. God, that is a wild move. TTD, who else is up? AMAT is up 10%. AMAT is up 12%. Yikes. Good job, AMAT. That is new highs. Man, all-time highs. Let's go to the monthly. Just want to confirm. Yep, all. That's a that's a Mark Zuckerberg meta move. This thing is up 12%. Blue skies. High from today was the previous all-time high. I would make that support. Not really a whole lot of TA we can do on that. Andrew, I haven't seen Andrew here. I hope he's here. Hi, Andrew, if you're here. Are you in a floating tank? It's probably in a floating tank. Spy, I want to see if it's making any movement after hours. Not really. DKNG. Anything DKNG. Come on. Start moving. Do something, please. Coinbase, up and down 1%, still chopping around. Roku, off a cliff. Roku is down 15%. Yikes. Looking for Roku's earnings numbers. Year-over-year -year revenue slate increase. Nobody's posting the numbers for me, though. Mm. Active accounts were 80 million, a net increase of 10 million from 2022. Total gross margin, 44.5%. Revenue, 984 million. I don't know if that is a beat or a miss. Okay, it, it double beat. EPS, negative 55 cents, beating estimated negative 57. Ouch. Revenue of 984.42 million, beating beating the 966.3 estimated. So it was a double beat. Holy Roku. Yikes. That's a pretty wild move on a double beat. DKNG. That's what I mean with these earnings. It's so hard to so hard to play them. Toast is up 15%. No way. Oh, congratulations. Oh my gosh. Nice trade. Wow, right up back to this resistance area, these candle tops here. Uh, not there, trading view. Work with me, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. We'll watch 21.8. That's right about where it is right now. I just wanted to mark that so on the five minute chart, you can keep an eye on that. Wicked right above that resistance area so far on the five minute. Man, what a nice move, though. Excellent. Congrats. Coin down four now. On one hand, I'm happy I want an entry on Coinbase. On the other hand, I'm surprised with the coins being up today. I really thought that that it was going to go up. It is gappy. I would like to see it all the way down at 120 if it wants to give it to me, which it probably will not. Down, chopping on, up, chopping around a little bit between 3 and 5% down. Roku, we still falling? Roku is down even further. Yikes. We did lose that daily 200. Oh, man. Double beat on Roku, and it's getting whomped on. Jeff had an awesome toast trade. AMAT. AMAT was up, I believe. Yes, they are up 11.5%. AMAT, their numbers were EPS $2.13, estimated $1.91. Nice crush, AMAT. Sales 6.71 billion over the 6.48 billion they were expecting. Q2 net, they see Q2 net sales 6.1 billion to 6.9 billion, estimated 6.3. That is a crush. Congratulations, AMAT. Awesome move. They did report. I'm still not seeing Coinbase's numbers. If anybody's seeing them, please let me know. Oh, man. Oh, now they're out. Okay. Coinbase. Let's pull up Coinbase. Mm, down about 3%. That's not bad, considering Roku's down 15. EPS, $1.04. Revenue of $954 million. So they beat on their revenue. I believe they beat on their EPS. Holy crap. EPS, $1.04. Estimated $0.20. Cents? That can't be right. That is a that is an insane crush. Why are they down? If that number's correct. I, I'm getting this on Twitter, so it may or may not be. Holy moly. DoorDash posts CPS miss, sales beat. Down 5% on Dash. DoorDash, um, Lyft, and Uber were on strike yesterday. Their stock went way up today. 
So they pumped into earnings. They're giving back the move from today. It doesn't look like that that's anything to really be worried about. I mean, they closed up 5%, down 4%, back to flat where we were earlier in the week. Not too bad on DoorDash. Um, I want to see if Roku's still falling. It is. AMAT, we still pumping? Yes. Holding the move anyway. TTD. TTD holding almost 20% up. Holy trade desk. Who else? Anybody else have earnings out? Toast and open. Is toast still going? Probably. Nice. 15% up. Ah! I'm so excited for you, Jeff. That's awesome. So, so cool. Excellent trade, sir. Coinbase chopping around pretty flat. If that EPS number is real, I am shocked that this thing is flat. Absolutely shocked. I don't think it is. Let me go ahead and check Twitter again and see if somebody updated that. Because if that if that came in accurately, yeah, I'm seeing it in different places. Holy moly. Mm, revenue of 529 million versus the estimate of 822.4. So they missed on revenue and crushed on their EPS. What? Twitter doesn't know what they're talking about. I, I, I'm going to wait for the real numbers coming out from the company on Coinbase. <sighs> Roku, Roku, Roku. I'm trying to figure out why Roku had a double beat and dropped so much. Who knows? Maybe it was maybe it was options. Wild stuff when this happens. We are almost a quarter after the hour. That's all of the big names that are out for today. Air Canada tomorrow. We do have PPI tomorrow. Um, I believe it's before the open. Hang on. Lost my calendar. PPI 830 tomorrow. That's Eastern time. Uh, Bar is speaking. And we have Air Canada before the open for earnings. Cinemark, Arbor, ABR. If anybody trades them, I don't. I've never even heard of them. But... Hey, they have earnings tomorrow, so good luck if you're in there. I'm here every day. The market is open for the last hour. We had a pretty fun Thursday so far. Happy Canada Flag Day. You guys have a really cool looking flag, so congrats on that as well. And I will see you lovely people tomorrow. Thanks, guys.